What's up, everybody? It's Charlie. If you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, both on Twitter, we are at Iron John's Brewing Company. And uh, what you want to call this, like downtown Tucson? Yeah. yeah, downtown Tucson. I decided to go with the Iron John Cisco American IPA. Look at it. I'm, I'm guessing she didn't look. She didn't come into the green room prior to this video. Now she want to fix her hair all on the camera and such. So yeah, 6.5 percent. I'm assuming this is probably like their flagship IPA, traditional style IPA. You know, what you got? The sour? Mm -hmm. The prickly goat. Called the prickly goat sour. It's kind of like almost like a West Coast style IPA. It reminds me of this IPA that's brewed by the little small brewing company in my area. It's called Desert Bar Brewing. And they brew, it's like called a Mojave Mud. I think that's their IPA, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's called Mojave Mud. I think. I could be jacking it up, but I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Always a good palate cleanser if you don't have water or sour, at least for me it is. Um, that's, that's a different kind of sour. Well, this is like goza. It's very dry. So, sour, but it's a goza. It's kind of salty, too. Mm -hmm. Very salty. That's probably that coriander that they throw in that goza. You don't think you're a fan of it? You know what? You know what I notice about some gozas and sour? The colder they are, the better they are. But your palate's probably just not ready for it. I like the ones yesterday better. The ones yesterday. Yeah, they brew some good beer over there. Um, so yeah, let's cheers it up. Ah. Oh. We're just gonna stop at this place and then there's another spot we're gonna check out just on the other side. It's called like Pueblo Vida. That was the number one that we were gonna check out. It is, it's salty. Very it is. salty. Very salty. Um, so yeah, if we drink something else, we'll put it on film. If not, kiddo will focus on his ice cream and his video game and we'll sit here and converse. Peace. Very salty. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Charlie. If you heard it here first on my beer for tonight, remember they're both on Twitter. We are beer vlogging in Tucson. And we are at Pueblo Vida Brewing Company. It was recommended to me by a group of individuals in the Arizona Craft Beer subreddit there. Uh, Mother-in-law lives in Tucson, so I figure, hey, why not? The last time I had a taste of Tucson was in 2016 via Borderlands Brewing Company. So, uh, this was one of the spots that folks said you need to check out if you're in Tucson. So, I'm sipping on the um, Sedoso. And this is a uh, lactose IPA with Citra Mosaic and Strata Hops. Uh, it's giving you the taste of like lemon curd, sweet cream, very silky smooth and obviously it contains lactose now how do i know that because i'm reading from the beer menu come on guys come on now come on now so this is what it's looking like right here it's looking beautiful boo yeah boo yeah boo yeah what you say king sent boo yeah boo yeah or like me and mama play oh yeah okay and yeah. we also got we also one, have uh two, three, which one did you get row, row, row. the uh grapefruit wheat so what is this the um hysterism yes hysterism um and this is a grapefruit wheat ale you. now obviously i'm not the biggest wheat beer drinker from time to time maybe but lots of grapefruit very zest, zesty so this is this is this right here so Brewer lactose without lactose. Lactose without lactose. Heavy on a grapefruit without heavy on a grapefruit. Anyways, let's try Mama Mars. She said this is something serious. Even though she only took a little sip out of it. You know what I'm saying? You still see that lacing on the glass, but here we go. You don't go. That smells, you know, I'm be honest with you, that smells like it smells like some Mary Jane. For real. For real, for real. All right, here we go. Mm. 
Now let me tell you something. Growing up, my mother used to drink a lot of ruby red grapefruit juice. I think that was like by Ocean Spray or something like that. And I wasn't a big fan of it, but my mother would drink it. And then when I moved to Portland and I started working for PPS Nutrition Services, we would put a lot of grapefruit on our menu for our students, and I became a huge fan of grapefruit. So sipping this, knowing that it's a heavy or heavenly brewed with grapefruit and grapefruit zest, it doesn't bother me. But this is one of those beers that if you woke up, especially living here in Arizona, you woke up at seven o'clock and you cut the grass and next thing. 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 Oh, it's about nine o'clock and you're all done and it's like 110 degrees. Forget the lawnmower beer. This is what you would drink to quench your thirst. So this is actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Um, but here we are with the um, Sedoso, like I said. Beer with lactose. I love beers with lactose. The only thing I don't enjoy about beers with lactose is when you chug a beer with lactose and you get that queasy feeling in your stomach. Here we are. I've only had a handful of beers with Strata hops brewed in it, but that tastes, have you ever drank a beer and you like burp? And you know, sometimes when we burp, like that taste that we get or that smell that we get like knocks us out. The cool thing about this burp is I just had this grapefruit beer and then I took a sip of this and then I burped and like it was very refreshing, extremely refreshing. You saying ill, but it was very refreshing. You have to, you have to try this combination right here. It's totally crazy. So, uh, we're gonna sip a few more beers and uh, play some connect for with the kiddo. And um, yeah, then we're going over to uh, Street Taco. Listen, if you're watching this. Oh, what's up, everybody? It's Charlie. If you heard it here first, and my beer for tonight, uh, both on Twitter. Now we got two videos going here simultaneously. So we got the beer vlog going, beer vlog. <laughs> beer vlog. <laughs> we got the beer vlog video going on there, and then we have the phone action right there. So it's Saturday, obviously. I'm beer vlogging, mm -hmm. and we're over at Pueblo Vida. And we all know when it's Saturday time, we got that Stout Saturday going on. Stout Saturday going on. And in this episode of Stout Saturday, we have it's called Order Order Order. Wait a second overly excited right about now but it's called order up it's a breakfast stout miss breakfast this morning so it's only right that I get something that's breakfast like at 2 15 on a Saturday uh, who does that so yeah order up roasty coffee creamy contains lactose and it's a lower ABV beer it is six point five percent so on this saturday august 3rd 2019 everybody who's going to get this right now via youtube we have order up by pueblo vita here we are right there right there right there right there Smells like coffee. Smells like coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I want to get into the coffee business when I retire and move to Costa Rica. So, um, yeah, that smells just like coffee. It's very, very, very roasty, as the brewer notes say. So, here we are. Let's drink this joint. That will wake your ass up right there. Seriously, it will wake your ass up. This is this is good. It's crazy about drinking stouts that are less than like 10% because for most of us, most of the stouts we drink are gonna be a, more than 10%. 
um, at least most of the stouts I drink are more than 10%. But anytime I get my hand on a stout that's less than 10%, hovering around 6%, I'm extremely excited. One of the best stouts that I've drank that was less than 10% was brewed by Grix and Bruin. And um, it was uh, aged um, in Jameson barrels. And if I'm not mistaken, I think DJ has that at about somewhere hovering around 6%. Don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive it's about 6%. When I say DJ, I'm talking about the brewer, head brewer at Grixen. Um, so yeah, Stouter Day is what we have. We have the order up. Oh man, what's up everybody? It's Charlie. If you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, they're both on Twitter over here at 1055 Brewing Company, downtown Tucson. I think the camera angle is about right. Marlene is over here. She's a little be hurt right now because she tried two ciders that they have. They weren't at her level and then she decided to go with the Shandy. However, the keg of the Shandy <laughs> It blew. That's it. They don't have no more Shandy left. So, um, I was looking for a New England style IPA. Something with some haze. Need no have no haze here. Um, so instead, I went with the good old Faithful. My favorite style of beer. Good old brown ale. Uh huh. You see that? It's called 1055 Brewing Bets Brown. Clocking in at about 5.6%. It's American brown ale. Medium body American brown ale. Yes. Nice, slight, modern hop character. And a um, nice, sweet aroma. That's kind of dry, which I prefer my brown nails to be a little dry, not so sweet on the back end, but a little dry on the back end. So let's see what this brown nail is all about. Here we are. Here we are. I'm going to get a snap a quick photo real fast. Marlena, I don't know if y'all can see her there in the background, but she is just upset. <laughs> oh, you upset. It'll be all right, Mama Mar. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. so good. You come here, you need to get the pineapple ham. It's very good. Boy, I swear I do not like portrait mode for objects. I've come to realize that portrait mode on the iPhone is, is, is better for people. It's not better for objects at all. It just the vignette is what they call it. It's kind of trash sometimes. Totally mess up real, a really good picture. It's meant for portraits, aka people. Yeah, but portraits can also be objects as well. Your subject doesn't have to always be a person. All right, before we get in this good game of y'all too, let me go ahead and sip this. You want to get in this too? It's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Has my arm been in the video or am I out of the video? Yeah. You worried about your arm being in the I swear. Listen, everybody. This is a beer vlog video, right? It's all about the beer. People ain't looking at nobody arms. They ain't looking at nobody extra chins. They ain't looking at the nose hairs that are coming out of my nose right now that I didn't trim. They ain't looking at the fact that right here I forgot to shave this area of my head so there's a little hair there. They ain't checking out all these nice custom made bracelets that Marlena hooked up for me. Ain't nobody looking at that. People are more concerned with the brewski brewski. And we got Mama Mar over here concerned about her arm. Like my son did earlier. Strong people, when people are strong, this is what they do. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Like? <laughs> well, we're gonna sit here and play some Yasi over here at 1055 